Hi, it's Raj. In this video, I will show you how to add or upgrade the RAM in this Acer Nitro 5 laptop. So, let's begin. The model we have here is AN515-55. So well, let's start by finding a compatible RAM for it. We can use the CPU-Z app for detecting the RAM module that came with the unit. Or we can go to Crucial's website and run a system scan to find the same along with the compatible RAM modules. If you know the device's model number, you can also do a manual search on Crucial's website to find compatible RAM. A similar search feature is also available in Kingston's website. By default, this model comes with one 8GB RAM stick. So we can either add one more 8GB RAM with similar spec that is 3200 mega transfers per second or 1600 MHz base speed and CL22 to make it work in dual channel mode or we can add two similar 8 or 16 or 32 GB RAM modules after removing the existing 8 GB RAM. So I decided to go with the first option for which we need to find a matching RAM module. I found compatible results on both Crucial's and Kingston's website from which I choose a matching stick. And I was also able to find this crucial RAM CT8G4SFRA32A on Amazon India sold by TPS Technologies, which I got for around 3000 rupees. So, this is the product. The packaging was good. Crucial offers a limited lifetime warranty for this product. It's made in Malaysia. Now that we have the required RAM, let's upgrade this laptop. In order to access the RAM slots, you need to open the back cover. For this, unscrew all the 11 screws, one of which is under the Acer warranty void sticker. So if your device is under warranty, it is better to get this done at an authorized service center. So after removing all the screws, you need to carefully pry open the back cover using plastic prying tools. Take your time and be gentle. You will be able to hear the unlocking click sounds. Finally, the back cover is off. Now let's add the RAM module. Align it correctly at an angle. Insert. And gently press it down with two fingers to lock it in the slot. That's it. Before attaching the back cover, let's check if the RAM is detected. It will take a few seconds for the BIOS to detect the RAM change, after which the system will boot into the OS as usual. Using the CPU-Z app, you can check the newly installed RAM by selecting the slot. Here it is slot 1. Also, the memory is working in dual channel mode as intended. That's good. Now, lock the back cover by gently pressing along the sides. You will hear the click sounds. Finally, put all the screws back in. So, that was easy, right? You can find the RAM, tool and other website links in the video description. Hope the video was useful. Peace.